Did you guys know ChatGPT is ruining your memory and you didn't even realize it? Researchers over at MIT published a paper called Your Mind on ChatGPT. There was 54 participants broken up into three groups, the brain group, the search engine group, and the LLM group. While hooked up to neuroscanning equipment so they can see their brain activity, participants had to write an essay. So all the participants from these three groups were tasked with writing essays on different topics. While they're writing these essays, they were hooked up to a neuroscanner the entire time to monitor brain activity. So the brain group can only pull from their brain while writing this essay. They can't go on the internet, they can't use ChatGPT, nothing else. The browser group obviously can only use their browser, so they had to turn off AI-powered searching as well, so that couldn't be utilized. And the LLM group could only use LLM. Every single participant decided to use ChatGPT in this instance. So while monitoring the brain activity of all the participants while they were writing their essays, researchers were able to notice some key differences. The brain group had to utilize a lot more of their frontal cortex and they were doing much more thinking. And when questioned on their essays afterwards, could almost always pull from their entire essay and had it memorized quite well. Now contrasting that to the browser and LLM groups, browser groups could remember little bits of their essays and pull direct sentences, while LLM groups could almost pull nothing about five minutes after they wrote the essay. The contents of the essays were another thing. The LLM groups overall performed much higher because they had access to such a vast amount of information, with the browser group being close second. Not that the brain group was too far below them, but LLM obviously outweighed them. Participants had to write their essays and answer questions across three sessions. A fourth session was offered, which 18 participants showed up for, where they would take one group, say, from the brain group, and transfer them to LLM and see how they performed. So overall, any of the participants that moved down the ladder from LLM usage to brain were much, much less able to write a compelling essay or quote it. But the people who moved up from brain to LLM were not only able to create better prompts within the LLM, getting better answers, creating a better essay, but they were still able to quote it quite well. This study tells us something pretty obvious that we all have in the back of our heads, we just don't want to admit. If we give up all power to ChatGPT or whatever AI we want to use, we ourselves are going to become less smart and less able to do things. We've already seen this with the internet. People are less able to quote direct information or remember things because they have so much information that they've presented themselves with and tried to remember. It's not exactly that we're forgetting it on purpose. It's just we have so much information now with the internet and YouTube short form content that it's hard to remember it all. So now with AI and this ability to just learn something so in depth and have so much information, much more than we already did with the internet, our brains are going to become over stuffed. So if you don't forget to actually use your brain once in a while singularly, well, you might lose its function completely. So don't forget that guys, MIT proved it. I'm not just saying this myself. If you guys like these story time videos or just want to learn something more about AI and tech, make sure you follow my page because I'm always dropping something every single day.